Hey guys, it's Holly here and I'm going to be doing what's in my makeup bag slash my daily school makeup routine thing. Now this makeup bag is really really nice. It's from Urban Outfitters and it's just white with H's for Holly all over it. They did have like other letters as well, like literally every single alphabet letter. Um, and then it's got like black detailing, like the zip sort of thing, and a copper zip. Also inside it's got this little it's black and then it's got a little zip thing and that's where I keep like my headband and stuff. So <coughs> sorry I've got a bit of like a cold and feel ill and stuff so yeah. The first thing is my Rimmel London BB cream in their lightest colour. It like when I tried it out it like when I first saw it, it looked a bit dark, but then when I put it on my skin, it looked fine. By the way, when you're t trying out foundation products and stuff, always put it on your wrist, because then it shows up way better, trust me. Um, and I really recommend getting a BB cream, by the way, or CC cream, but I prefer, personally prefer BB creams, because they do so, so, so much, and that's like the first thing I put on after I do like my daily facial wash stuff. So the next thing is I like sometimes put this on, I sometimes just put it under my eyes. I never put it all over my face but it's the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation in 030 sand. Now I really like that because it's a really nice colour and I just like the, like they have like a special formula in it or something and yeah. Then after that I put on the Maybelline Fit Me stick and it's like anti-shine and everything so it is perfect and it's in buff beige. Now I don't think like buff beige would be like the colour for me but it actually is. That means like you should always try things out because I think if I've got the lighter colour that I thought I was, then it wouldn't have su suited me at all. And yeah. So I just put this like under my eyes and on my nose, like I do with my foundation. But on my BB cream, I basically put it all over my face, apart from my cheeks. Then the next thing is my. Body Shop Tea Tree Concealer in number one. Like that's the colour they've used for it. Um, it's quite hard to tell what colour it is from where you're like saying, but it's like a roller lipstick thing. It's not working at the moment. A little rolly thing, but whatever. And I really like it because the Body Shop is all natural stuff and Tea Tree is super good for spot. So after that, I usually put on, this is like my Techniques like kit. I, I think it's like eye kit and it has like a mini mascara, it has like a brush, brow, eyeshadow and I don't know what that is, I forgot. Mm. Mm. Sorry. So I use that colour which is sort of just a nude sort of colour and like I'm running out of that so I may need to get a new eyeshadow because I can't be bothered to get a whole new kit if I only actually like that colour. Then after that I put on my powder and I have used the Stain Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Sorry it's like sort of reflecting. I find this powder super good because it, as the name says, stay on and yeah, and it's in the colour 003 Peach Glow. Also the brush I use for my powder, I do have a big version of this but like yeah, it's my Bare Minerals powder brush and this is the travel size one. Then after that I use, I go to like mascara, 
and um, oh by the way I forgot to say the brush that I use for foundation and stuff I use this double sided brush from Clegg Accessories sorry I shouldn't be skipping stuff I should memorise this stuff um, then I have mascara if I do have mascara I use the Avon Colorlicious one first because it literally curls my lashes and I don't usually use my lash colour when I'm going to school. I really like this brush because it is like super curled and super good and it's super. And then the next one is Maybelline mascara. Everybody goes on about Maybelline mascaras and I really like the Rocket Volume Express mascara. Everybody just calls it Rocket, but I call it Rocket. I call it by its name. So like, yeah. Now I was a bit like surprised by the brush. I thought it was going to be more better, but maybe it's because I've used it so much or whatever. But that's the only thing I would say about this. But it's really good overall, and it gives like even more length and stuff. So then moving on to lips. Now, if I do wear lipstick, which I don't really because I'm more of a lip balm person for school, I use my this certain Claire's lipstick, which is new. Mm, hold on, wrong way. Um, which I got recently, and it's in this lovely corally colour, and that's the little swatch of it. And by I usually have like a lip balm over it and I love the baby lips ones. Because I get really dry lips, I'm using this one at the moment, which is the intense care one, which is just like plain. But this one's super shiny. So that's good. And if not, I use Baby Lips Pink Punch, which is this and it gives a really nice tint there and I really like that so that's all guys like comment below like this video follow links subscribe share because I would quite like that so I get like more views more likes and stuff like not that I'm trying to really get them but you know what I mean if like you set up a YouTube channel you want somebody to at least watch like your videos Sorry, I've been like really ill and like my voice has been really croaky and stuff.